Hello there, this is Crowbeak. Welcome back to my Final Fantasy X Let's Play. I don't know what episode number this is, but we are in the Via Purifico. Right now, all I've got is Yuna. I think I'm actually going to head towards this arrow first. Maybe not. I don't remember where I'm going to find my other party members. I would like to get them back sooner than later. There are... My party is currently split in two is not quite accurate. Because I don't have all my party members here with this group with Yuna. But ow! Ow! Just ow! I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the people who can fight underwater are all in a party together, and we're not playing them at the moment. But this is me trying to find the people who are part of my party, but not underwater fighting people. In the Via Purifico, which is the name. I don't even know why I like that name so much. Please I've just always us. liked the name of the Via Purifico, and I never forget it. So. And of course, she doesn't quite kill it. That would be the boss room. This is this is where it hurts us that Yuna was not around for uh, for all the leveling I did in the desert. Gosh, is there a way to just heal the eons? The eons, whatever they are. Like a Aeon potion? Pretty sure there's not, and that makes me sad. Cure thyself, lady. Oh, she has a couple of sphere things. I'm gonna use those because they that that needs to be a thing that happens. Oh uh, what is this what is this skill over here? Stop it, stop it. Reflex. We can deal with that, with that one. I don't need her to have more attack power or whatever that is, so you can just go down here. There's no hit points involved, unfortunately. Uh, what is that? Magic increase. A little disappointing, but she's actually a pretty powerful black mage, so... And that's a fun thing to say. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, check that out! That is so cool! There's a glyph thing there that I don't think I can do anything with, it's just... Oh, I can. I don't know what effect that had. Because I definitely don't remember any of the details about what is cool or not about the Via Purifico. Uh, Lulu! Lulu! I'm not alone! It's okay, I know. So I do have to wander around and find everyone. That's okay. There's treasure here as well. It's not often that you get to run around as Yuna. We'll just pull up the summon. I want to get their limit breaks up anyway. I'm pretty sure that, that my summons had limit breaks before Yuna left my party. If so, then it's kind of uncool that they took my limit breaks away. If not, if I'd already used it, then that's on me, but yeah. Okay. Um, right, Sonic Wings, everyone. Not really. Stack. Please do enough damage. There's definitely definitely like this this is definitely the weakest of my Aeons. The Aeons that you get later in the game are are just flat out more powerful. I am gonna actually dismiss you and go back to party because I don't really want to lose this progress I've made on Increasing your limit break. Probably gonna wander back to the save point and regenerate, uh, not regenerate, but work on, you know, healing things. Just just touch the save point to heal things. Party members and eons and stuff. Lou has earned Overdrive Mode Slayer. That is a good thing to know. 
Not sure if I'll really use it, but that's okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna go back to... I need to go back to that that starting point anyway. Because I believe that that first... Not the first. The second glyph thing on the ground is actually the starting point for activating all the glyphs. If I remember correctly, I actually have to... Who wants some this time? Let's grab it. If I remember correctly, I have to step on it first and use it to go to the other ones to activate them in the first place. And some of them lead to hidden places that I can't get to without them, if I recall correctly. They're certainly very nice for, for traversing the dungeon quickly. But, yeah. Rawr. Angry freezing. That's okay. He'll just kill all things. Look at them overkills. Aren't they lovely? Fish smack. Hey, that was that was nice. He actually kills the dudes in the middle in one hit. Not an overkill, but that's okay. I still didn't have to take too much damage. Alright. Touch. Nope, just, just let me go. Thanks. Alright, I'm gonna go up here and the first thing I'm gonna do is actually gonna go backwards. And I just missed it. Right. Forward. Watch this. Zip. And I believe that's all it takes to actually activate this thing. Let's find out if I'm correct. See? Look at that. And I'm pretty sure this will take me to a place that... Oh, nope. There isn't one over there. Alright. I'm pretty sure there isn't one that back this way either. There's not. But I have to look at it. It was cool. Let's see if there's one to the right. I don't think there is. Mm, nope. Okay. I'm gonna walk over this way. Failure is not an option. Oh wait, no, I was gonna activate all the things to access to the central one first, wasn't I? Well, whatever. Summon. Yeah, let's go ahead and get yeah, Balafor all the way up. Or work towards it. I'm really glad that Lulu is the second person I found. She's she's a bit of a powerhouse in terms of killing things. It would be nice to like have Orin, because he's he's definitely uh, definitely good at not dying. He lives well. That is not what I wanted. Dismiss. But I'm not really having problems with dying at the moment anyway. Having having even a second person is great because it reduces the chance the same person will get hit twice in a row. So. And it's very nice that Yuna has sensor because it means she I should have thought it now. Whatever. It's very nice that she has sensor because it means that I just since she's always in the party at the moment, I always can see what their weaknesses and strengths are, elementally. I wonder... I can't remember if it's possible to get to the end of this dungeon without finding everybody. I mean, I don't know why you would want to, but can you? That is the question. I'm gonna kill a couple of these guys off oh, first, I think. That is a... Thunder... This guy. That was so beautiful! Oh my god, I forgot how much damage she does. <sighs> Alright. Whoops. I meant to Thundar with her. Did not succeed. That's okay. It won't kill us. I mean, it's, it won't kill either of my people, but I definitely didn't kill one of their people either. I'm just gonna kill things now. Don't mind me. All right. 
Let us try this again. This time with more enemy death. Yeah. Thundala! Yuna does like twice as much damage as Lulu does. And that's so crazy to have at this stage of the game. The first time I played the game, I eventually got to that point because if you once you get Yuna to the end of her path and start taking her down Lulu's path on the regular sphere grid, she just she just goes completely off the charts. But it turns out that uh yeah, the advanced sphere grid Yuna, and being able to take her down that path in the first no, place it's okay. It's just, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Because otherwise, Yuna's pretty useless for a while. And I definitely need to go back to the central, whoops, go back to the central thing and activate all four of the things, because I don't want to be wandering around too much. I mean, I guess I kind of am in the pursuit of getting to these places anyway, but, you know, whatever. Um, she's not gonna be able to kill the thing. Uh, she probably kill this one off. She can definitely kill this one off. There's definitely a power difference between the three of these guys, though. If that didn't illustrate it, nothing will. It's okay. I'm pretty okay with Yuna being this powerful and just having the middle elemental spells, the second rank ones. She, uh, she definitely uses them to good effect. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna hit this again. No, didn't mean to hit save, I'm sorry. I just wanted to hit that again for purposes of... Oh, what? It's only one power at any time? That's a thing I forgot! Alrighty then. Pull him out. I've got a rueful look on my face. You can't see it, but it's definitely there. means if I want to explore all the things, I have to do it one thing at a time. That's kind of cool. Oh well. What? You were killing these guys easily before, apparently, in secret. Alright, well. Thank you for dodging. I got his thing up like I wanted to. I will just now get rid of him, and then go on with my life! That's a fun way for him to disappear. That's not what I wanted. Lulu, kill a thing. and kill that thing. I'm leaving the weak one, because Kimari can kill that, and then Yuna can just kill the other one and everything will be fine. Everybody will be happy. Good time. Maybe I'll get an overkill out of this, actually. I did not. That's okay. I will get an overkill out of this one. She just does so much damage. It's great. Seeker's Bangle. Whoops. That had not been my plan. That's okay. Oh! <laughs> Good. Alright. Sure, we'll go that way. I don't remember what's forward, but I definitely want to try these ways first. Mostly because I want to try going backwards here. Like, yeah, I was pretty sure that wasn't going to work. The only one I know for sure will work is to the right, which is back to that one in the center. So let's try it up. And that's one unfortunate thing about this. Uh... 
this dungeon. The fact that they let you try all the different directions is neat, and thematically it works, really. I mean, the Via Purifico is where the Church of Yevon sends people that it's, it's, you know, basically executing. We're not actually going to execute you, we'll just send you to this dungeon where you're probably going to starve or thirst to death. They can, they can disguise it all they want as like a, a trial of, of faith, which I assume is how this would be represented to uh, the people of Spira. But it makes for a lot of time wasted stepping on these things to no end. Because I, 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 I would bet money that this isn't going to work either. Yeah, of course it doesn't. So, back to the middle. It means that the one... The one where the the activity starts in the middle is a treasure chest in the corner of this room. No, weird. This place, this place here, where the one starts out activated, is uh, is like three of the four places it connects to are completely useless. Right? So you, you try all the directions you can go with them, and it's just, you've wasted some time. So like I said, it works thematically. If you're throwing people into this labyrinth, basically, that you don't want them to ever find the exit from, it makes sense to have distractions like that. But, yeah. Go, Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Overkill. I like it. I'm gonna zip, use this to zip back to the save point real quick, just to restore Aeon hit points again. I don't really need to, but I'm going to. And actually, looking at the time, this is a, a pretty good place to stop this episode, so I'll probably go ahead and actually save. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you'll have to wait for the next episode. If you're watching on t Twitch, just stand by for a couple minutes. Have a good one!